Hey everyone, what's going on? It's your boy Krebsy Crypto, and for today's video, I'll be showing you a new project or coin, if you will, that's called Kaka. And yes, as you could probably tell, it's on the Kapow algorithm, and it's a fork of Raven Coin, from what I believe. And this is another type of coin that has proof of play and proof of work, so it's the best of both worlds for gamers and miners. So it's kind of colliding, like due to the graphics card shortages that have been going on in like the recent year or so. These coins have kind of started to come out to incorporate gamers and miners. So we can use graphical power of each way in a sense. So if you're a gamer, you can earn coin by playing certain games with this. And then if you're a miner, you can do the original proof of work way and you'll earn, earn coins that way. So I'm just going to be going over the website very briefly and then showing you some of the game servers they have set up, some of the mining pools to use, which software to use and how to go about mining this. But like I said, the name of this coin or project is called Kaka, as you see at the top here. And Kaka is a currency for investors, gamers, and gaming developers. Kaka uses POW, so proof of work, and POP, which is proof of play. POP is a new way for gamers to participate in blockchain technology simply by playing games. Most of the time, it's computer-based games with their own server. Until now, the mineable cryptocurrency communities and gaming communities have been separated by a graphics card shortage. With Kaka, both of these communities can come together and get a piece of the block. So they each can either, like in a sense, when you're playing the game, you're earning this cryptocurrency, so you're getting a piece of the block and a piece of the coin. And same when you go ahead and just originally mine this. So once you come over to the website here, I'll post a link to all this information in the description below. So you can check out things for yourself for a little bit more of an in-depth look, if you will. And it's a pretty standard website. It has all your information, like what wallets, the white paper, game servers, mining pools, coin, specific, uh, coin specifications, exchanges, explorer, listing directories, and wikis. And then if you scroll down, it just has all the shortcuts to that. But I'm just going to open a few of these tabs and show you guys like what it's all about. So if we go to the wallets here, you right-click, open a link, a new tab, or you just click on it. They have a multi-wallet coming soon. They have a wallet for Ubuntu 18.64-bit. They have a wallet, wallet for Ubuntu 20.64-bit. They have a wallet for Windows 10.64-bit and a wallet for Mac OS. So they pretty much have a OS, um, wallet for every OS. And they even have the source code and everything listed. So if you want to check that out, you can go right ahead. But depending what operating system you're on, you want to get one of these wallets and download it to whatever like operating system you have. And then you want to open the wallet, create the wallet like normal, and then get your mining address so you have it ready for when you're going to start mining. Now, I know I normally show like the wallet part of things, but currently my server is a little messed up. And I don't feel like setting it up on this computer because I don't have much hard drive space to begin with. I have to upgrade my SSD drive in order to get a little bit more space. But right now my server is acting up, so I'm not able to actually you know, get in my hands on and set this wallet up. But I figured to still make this video because the wallet, I assume it's just like a Ravencoin wallet. You're going to set it up, create your wallet, name it, and the label it, and then you're going to copy the wallet address. But now we can go over to back to here, and then you can click coin specifications, if you will. I already have that open. And this gives you all the information about the coin itself. So it, this coin was born on July 19th of 2022, so just a couple months ago. And the coin name is Ka Ka, as you know. The ticker is Ka, the capital letters K, and the total supply is over 2 billion coins. And it's having every 2.1 billion coins, I think that is, more or less every four years. The algorithm is Kapow, as you could tell by the name of this project. The block time is 60 seconds. The block reward is 500 Ka's. Then there's the P2P port and the RPC port. And the DES reward is 8% of each block. Mine, mine goes to uh, proof of game address we will send two percent to gamers and one percent to stakers so you earn two percent every time a block is mined while you're gaming and then if you're staking it you earn one percent every time a block is mined i believe that's how it works because every time there's a block mine the devs get reward and then they separate it out the devs keep a little bit just to keep you know ambition and the uh supply going but then also they send it out to proof of gamers and stakers because the miners already get their own blocks or part of their blocks, however they set up their mining. So I'm just going to close out these two tabs here since we kind of went over them. So just make sure to have your wallet, like I said, and then that was coin specifications. And then you can check out their game servers. So as you see, they have like a kind of a separate website. It's cogames.cacacoin.org. It's a subdomain. It's to let you know which uh, games are being developed and which servers are online and such. 
So if you scroll down, you'll see they have Minecraft version 1.19.2 and they have their own world where you log in, you join and you play to earn. So you play Minecraft and you earn Kaka coin. And then right now under development is CSGO. So soon enough, you'll be able to play CSGO and earn Kaka coin or Ka coin if you want to call it just for simple term. But either way, it's good to see this form of like, I guess, cryptocurrency starting to evolve because it takes the best of both worlds of proof of work and proof of game. So gaming and mining and it puts them together instead of having to worry about staking or things like that. I find this way is better because it incorporates everybody with a graphics card. But that's just my take on it. So that way, you know, there's no arguing on, oh, you know, I can't earn it because you guys have a graphics card or you're taking up the graphics card because you're mining this, that, and the other thing. It just incorporates the best of both, in my opinion. So if you're interested in the gaming side of things, you can check out their game servers. If you're interested in mining, you can continue watching this video and I'll be showing you how to set that up and get things going for the mining part of things. So as you know, Kapow algorithm is through GPU. Unfortunately, it's not CPU mineable anymore. It used to be from what I know, but not anymore to this day, just because it's kind of evolved beyond its power when it comes to CPU and GPUs and such. So Kapow is a GPU mineable algorithm. And the mining pools for Kaka coin or Ka coin, if you will, you could go on the mining pool stats and you can see for yourself here, all the different pools that have it up and going. Right now, the main pool seems to be our plant as it is for most coins, because that has like the best way to solo mine in my opinion. But what you want to do, as you see, like over 55% of the hash network hash rate is on our plant. You kind of want to spread it out and go to like Zerg pool, Z pool. You can check out their official kakacoin.org. They have a pool set up there. There's a lot of different pools you can select from. I just, I just suggest going to ones that don't have like an overloaded hash rate. So as you see, like I said, the 55% of known hash rate. You kind of want to spread that out just to keep things even and balanced and secure because it's like I've heard in the past, it's not good to keep it all in one pool or all in one area as you will. But I will be showing you how to get it set up on our plan and then how to get it set up on Z pool. So that way, if you do want to join this one just for solo mining purposes, our plan's your route to go. But if you kind of want to do a pool mining, Z pool is the way to go. In my opinion, I've used Z pool a lot. I've been starting to use our plant for some solo mining and they're both solid pools. I don't have any issues with any of them. So if we just go over to our plant here, this is going to redirect you to the Kaka uh, mining pool for our plant here. And you're going to see it says right off the hop here, please do not mine directly to an exchange wallet. So that's why I suggested using their wallet from their website, depending what operating system you have. So to get started here is pretty straightforward. You scroll down a little bit. You're going to have all this information, miner stats, my miner connect. What you want to do is click connect and this is going to give you your information for whichever route you want to go get set up and depending what miner you want to use and it's going to have all your info about the coin and how it's running and things like that and if you go up here it has all the network information the current pool and then if you're mining solo here but as you see the miners that they use here is wild rig crypto dredge and b miner t-rex miner i should suggest on getting a miner set up before you get like set up on a pool here so if we go over to Awesome Miner here, this is going to give you a list of all the miners that you can use for Kapow algorithm on AMD or NVIDIA uh, GPUs. So as you see, there's B Miner, BZ Miner, Crypto Dredge, G Miner, Kapow Miner, Mini Z, Nano, NB, SRB, T Rex, TT, Wild Rigs, and Z Enemy. So it's quite a bit just depending on what graphics card you have. So whichever one you decide to choose, the setup should be the same. It's just more or less pool dependent. So it's more or less which pool you decide to use is how you're going to set up the settings. Most of these are just simple. You download them and then run the command or batch file. And then you right click and edit whichever algorithm. So if there's the Kapow one, you right click and edit that one. And that one's going to allow you to set up for said pool. I'll probably quickly download one of these just to show you guys how to get it set up and running. So if you go to download most of these miners, I started downloading just T-Rex miner just for to show you guys for example. It's going to say that it's maybe dangerous or maybe virus. It's not going to be. It's just because it's not a verified publisher. So to avoid this, the easy way is to go under your settings. So if you're on Windows, you click the start menu and then click the little gear. You're going to come to settings, update and security. You can click Windows security, virus and threat protection. And then once you're there, you click manage settings. And the best way or easiest way for me, I find, is just turn off real-time protection for now. So yes, it may make you vulnerable, but if you're just doing this quickly, 
you will be fine. And then if you want to be able to keep your real time protection on, you can scroll down here and click add or remove exclusions and then click yes on this box that pops up. And then you click uh, add an exclusion, add folder here. And then you're going to go to your downloads or wherever you have the T-Rex done. And you double click on the T-Rex folder or whichever mining software. And you click select folder. And this will allow you to go back. And then you can turn on your real-time protection. And then it's going to allow whatever miner you choose to run perfectly fine without having to turn your real-time protection off. It avoids it. Like I said, this is just due to it being um, a not a verified publisher. And a lot of mining software is even like NiceHash and stuff are making miners turn to become verified so that way it doesn't cause any of this confusion or anything of the sort and then you just go back and click keep and then keep anyways and then you go show in folder you right click and then using 7-zip or winwar whichever one you have you click extract to and then said file name so mine's t-rex you double click on t-rex and then you want to find the algorithm that you are mining so for example here's a raven uh coin one and that's what the algorithm is based on is Kapow. So what you want to do is click right click and edit. And then it's going to give you these here. So you want to leave this as Kapow as the algorithm. And this is what you're going to change is the stratum URL here, depending on whatever pool you are going to use. So if we go over to our plant pool here, and if we scroll down, um, we just want to select which miner we're using. So T-Rex and then Windows, and then we'll just do America for the closest one. And then it's going to spit out your stratum address. And then if you want to do solo, of course, you click the solo box. And that's going to tell you uh, to put the password as M equals solo. If not, you don't need a password. So you highlight this. You copy it. You go back here and you paste it. And that's going to be wherever your stratum is uh, located. So depending on the pool you're using, it's going to be different per pool. And then for username, this is going to be where your... Um, Kaka coin address goes here. I'll just type that in since I don't have one set up or whatever. So as you see, it's just set up like that. And then password, you don't need one if you are doing just the pool mining on uh, our plant here. Now, if you are doing solo, it says password equals M equals solo. So if you're doing that, you go like this and just put a dash P and then M equals solo. And that'll allow you to mine solo. And that's setting up for our plant, of course. And obviously it depends on the miner you can select from the list right here and then your operating system and everything like that and it'll spit out a perfect uh miner script or batch command so you can paste it right in here and all you would do is click file save and that's going to be set up and ready to go for our pool or our plant sorry and if we go over to z pool here on their main website like i said our plant's better for solo and then z pool is going to be your go-to for pool mining ice i find the best but that's just my opinion. I like to spread out the hash rate to keep things even. So on the home page here, you're going to scroll down a little bit and you're going to see the stratum generator here. And I'm just going to refresh it because it's acting up. There we go. You click North America or whatever location that you are located in. And then you want to scroll down. It'll probably be at the top here. You scroll down until you find Kapow. And then uh, that's going to allow you to mine for the Kaka coin. And then you go here and we can scroll down until you find it so ka is the term for it as you've seen on the coin description from their website so in this case you would highlight this stratum here and then you would copy it and then you'd go same spot here if you want to use z pool and paste it right in there and then your username would be your wallet address and then this one requires a password so you just copy the password from the from the pool here and it's c equals ka so password equals C equals Ka, and that's going to allow you to mine Ka coin as a pool on Z pool here because they don't have solo mining. This is just strictly for pool mining. So if you want to go ahead and start spreading up the hash rate and mining in a pool, I suggest using the Z pool route here and then our plant for the solo, in my opinion. But you can do it whichever way you want. I'm not saying you have to do it this way, but this is probably the better way to do it just to spread out hash rate and things like that. And all you do is click File, Save. And then you would start this batch file up. So if you went here and then you just double click on whichever one you edited, whichever Ravencoin one you edited here, doesn't matter which one, you would double click on it and it should start up mining just fine for you. And you should be rocking and rolling mining the Ka coin or Ka Ka, whatever you want to call it. And it should be good after that.
But yeah, that's pretty well lit for this video. I know it wasn't like too in depth like I usually do, but I've been having a little bit of trouble with my servers and I don't have enough hard drive space to be installing wallets and such to my main computer here where I'm recording, unfortunately. Once I get another drive set up and stuff, I will be setting up wallets and be able to do things like I used to do. But I'm just kind of getting my computer like updated and things worked about for that. But yeah, this is a pretty solid project I find. I've been keeping my eye on it since about near the start of August just to see where it goes and how it's being listed. And it's been listing on more and more pools. It used to just be on our plan and like a couple others. But lately it's really taken off when it comes to like how many pools it is and the exchanges and stuff. They're starting to build up. There's only a couple exchanges for now. But I imagine that's going to be changing over time too because this project has been gaining some popularity and hype. As you see right here, the gains on it has been pretty crazy lately. The difficulty has risen too, so it's kind of getting out there. And I figured this is probably a proper time to make a video on it. I could have done it a little bit like a few weeks ago or something. But it's always hard to tell with projects which ones are going to do well, which ones are going to take off, which ones, you know, are legitimate. And as you see more pools and things like that get listed, that's what kind of verifies it because... Some pools require a certain amount of like things done to whatever coin to be listed or it to show actual potential. They don't want to be listing useless stuff at the end of the day because it takes time for them. So as I see if it gets listed on more pools and it's picking up momentum and stuff, that's when I decide to make a video on most of these coins. But like I said, that's pretty well lit. If you did enjoy, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button as it lets me know these tutorials are helping you out and you guys are getting some knowledge off of them. But I hope you all have an amazing day and this is Krebsy Crypto signing out.